In this video, we'll be going over creating and managing workspaces. Connections to brokers and data services are managed through workspaces. Each workspace is a separate instance of MotiveWave and it contains its own local database. All data settings and analyses are separate between each workspace with the exception of themes and the historical data. So the workspaces can be managed from two areas, one from the console and the other from the startup screen. I'm going to show you the startup screen first. So you would click on Options, Workspaces, and from here you can create a new workspace, modify one, remove a workspace, change its order in the list, and then of course close the window, which brings you back up to the Motive Wave startup screen. So the first column will show all your designated names that you've given your workspaces along with the service or broker that they're connected to, as well as the location of the workspace, whether it is locally or hosted on the cloud. So let's just create a new workspace here. So we're going to type in Google Yahoo. We have two locations. We have local disk and the MotorWave cloud. I will get into this in a separate video. So we're going to add a connection. Now to see the available list of connections, you can click on select service and there'll be a scroll list here. So from this list, you can select where it is that you would like to connect to. So I'm going to select Google Yahoo. Now you notice that the name in the connection will show as you select it from the list. Okay, so let's go back and put that in. Now you don't have to type in a name for a connection here. So we're going to click Add Connection, create the workspace, click OK. And now you'll see a list here. And the list, again, as mentioned before, has the name, the service, and the location. OK, so click on Close. Now you can also access the Manage Workspaces dialog window by clicking on configure workspaces and now you'll also see it here. Now if you have the professional or ultimate edition of MotiveWave then you will have the ability to have multiple brokers and data connections to a single workspace and what that allows you to do for instance is if you're trading futures with one broker and perhaps equities with another then you don't need two separate workspaces, you can combine them in one. So for example, if I have here uh, Crypto Compare, I only have access to cryptocurrency information. And let's say I want to add futures to that. I can then modify, add connection. Add my CQG account. Uh, actually, while we're here, why don't I add the free Google feed because they don't have to be broker accounts. It can also be feeds. Let's say I want to take a look at some equity feeds. Okay, we update the workspace. Now we could close. We restart Motive Wave. Okay, if we select Crypto Compare now. Connect, and we're going to connect here. So the workspace loads up now. And you'll notice I have a futures chart here. And I'll have my three tabs. I'll have my crypto, my CQG, and my Google. And if I want to pull up, say Apple, I can pull up Apple. I also have a crypto here. And as shown here before, I can always pull up. Actually, let me. Pull up my futures chart. OK, now if you don't have the professional or ultimate edition, then with the charts, charts plus trade and strategy editions, you'll only have the ability to add 
uh, one connection type per workspace. Okay, so that wraps up this video. We'll see you in the next.